Loomly Tutorial for Beginners Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Loomly. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kindly go to Loomly.com. And if you haven't signed up for Loomly yet, you can check the video description below for a special discount link. But before that, if you don't know Loomly, it is a social media management platform designed to help individuals and businesses to create, schedule, and manage content across various social media channels. And also, this platform provides tools for content creation, collaboration, scheduling, analytics, and many more. And with Loomly, users can plan their social media content, create posts, review how they will appear on different platforms, and also schedule publication times and track post performance through analytics. And to access this platform, they also offer a variety of plans that you can build by clicking this pricing option on the top panel. You will be directed on this page, and below here it will show you some of the plans that they offer. Web here, base, standard, advanced, premium, and enterprise plan. And you will see here below the corresponding prices and list of benefits it included. But if you want to use this platform for free, you can do so by going back in this page and kindly enter your email address in here. Then just proceed by clicking Get Started button. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. And from here, just fill out all of the required information. We have here the company name, the company type, and also the account time zone. And after filling out all of the required information, just proceed by clicking the Save button below here. And upon doing so, you will be directed on this page. And from here, it will show you that you can now start creating your new calendar, starting by uploading your logo image and other calendar details. But if you don't want to create your calendar yet, you can do that by simply clicking this icon on the top right corner. And upon closing this page, you will be directed on this dashboard of Bloomly. But before accessing some of the options below, the next thing that you need to do is to confirm your account by the confirmation email that has been sent to your email address. And now to proceed, just click Confirm My Account button right here. Then you will be directed on this page. Now going back to this dashboard of Bloomly, we can now start navigating some of the options that are divided into different cards. We have here calendars, post overview, on the radar, and other option below here. Now on the calendar view, this feature allows user to view their entire editorial calendar in one place, enabling effective planning of when social media updates will be shared, in which it helps users create, schedule, implement social media workflows, view post analytics, and manage social media interactions. While this next card called Post Overview, this section provides a quick preview of the post contents for each social media channel, allowing users to easily review and make changes if needed. So you can see here the number of draft, pending approval, requires edits, approve, scheduled, publish, pass, and failed. While the other card is this on the radar. This feature helps users keep track of the important events, trends, or topics that may be relevant to their social media content, since it serves as a reminder to create a schedule content related to these events or topics. While well, the other cards below here is this post ideas, quick links, and hat on the lonely blog, in which post ideas this feature suggests relevant or timely content that brands can share on their social media channels based on their trending topics, while well, quick links provides users with easy access to their social media accounts, allowing them to quickly navigate to their profiles and manage their content. While this last card, this feature provides users with the latest news, tips, and insights related to social media marketing, helping them to stay up to date with the latest trends and best practices. And aside from that, on the top panel, you could also navigate this new post button by simply clicking on it. It will show you a pop-up window, but make sure that you also create your calendars first. And to do that, just click this Add New Calendar button under this calendars card. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here. And from here, you can start adding your logo image and enter your calendar name 
select your calendar time zone, your industry, and just proceed by clicking Create Calendar and Continue button below. And after clicking on it, you will be directed on the next step, which is to connect your social media accounts. So we have here Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and other social media platform that you can link your account. And to connect, just click this connect button in here. And after clicking on it, it will show you a pop-up window that include some of the important notes before connecting your Facebook accounts on this platform. And after that, just proceed by clicking the connect button below here and start linking your account. Or alternatively, you can skip this part by clicking the next button or the skip button below here. And now for the third step, which is to set your calendar workflow. So basically below here, it will show you the list of workflow that you can choose. And as you can see, we're currently using original workflow that has more than one collaborator in charge of approval, seven post states such as drafts, requires, edits, pending approval, approve, scheduled, publish, and canceled. But you could also select other workflow that you prefer. We have here light workflow, zero workflow, or alternatively, you could also proceed by clicking the next button or the skip button below here to proceed to the next step. And from here, all we need to do is to enter RSS feed URL in order to set post ideas preferences, in which this will allow users to collect and stay updated with online content from their own custom selection of blogs or other relevant media outlets in their industry. And let's say you already enter your RSS feed URL the next thing that you need to do is to simply choose the option here. But I'm going to select the drop post. So basically, by using RSS feeds, users can find inspiration for social media content and create engaging posts that resonate with their audience. And after that, just proceed by clicking the next button below here or the skip button if you want to. Now moving on to the other step, which is to invite other collaborators. And the purpose of inviting collaborator is to enable users to work effectively with their team members and clients on managing their social media presence. By inviting collaborators, users can share their responsibilities of creating, scheduling, and analyzing social media content, ensuring that the process is efficient and well-coordinated. And to invite other collaborators, just enter their email address in here, and you could also select their role in here. Then just proceed by clicking the send button in order to send the invite. But if you don't want to, you can proceed by clicking the skip button below here or the finish button below here. And upon clicking on it, we will now be directed on this page. And as you can see, it says here that we have now created our first calendar. And from here, we can also start posting on this calendar with some of the ideas under post ideas that suggests relevant or timely content that brands can share on their social media channels based on trending topics. And below here are some of the other steps that you need to complete in order to build a post on this calendar, such as to select social channels, define generic content, fine-tune each channel, and finally, to create posts. So that is just basically how you can use Loomly. Thank you.